Well, this was a scary moment Saturday morning for a news anchor in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Julie Chin beginning to struggle while reading a script on the air. Eventually, she would just toss it over to weather. But it was in a post the next day. She said her doctors believed that she was suffering from the beginnings of a stroke. She says now she's OK, that it seemed to come out of nowhere, nowhere, and she lost partial vision in one eye, and then her hand and arm went numb. Her co-workers then called 911. She said she's really grateful for their quick action. We always hear how important that is. Dr. Powell Coley joins us now. Uh, when we talk about this, we know time is of the essence, but what's happening to your body when you're, when you're having a stroke or you're at the start of a stroke? Yeah, it's lack of blood flow to the brain usually. Now, it can also be a bleed in the brain, like a ruptured aneurysm or something like that, but something is going on with the brain where the blood flow has been disrupted, mm. which is why the faster you get that blood vessel fixed, opened up, the more brain tissue you can save and the more recovery you're going to have. We talk about risk factors. Are, are there any warnings? Is there anything that might clue you in or think that you might be more susceptible to stroke? There are a number of risk factors, and here's the good part about stroke. 80% of heart attacks and strokes are preventable with the right lifestyle changes. So your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your sugar control, your weight, mm -hmm. your exercise, all the things that I've been pounding into you guys. Just a healthy lifestyle is a big step. Big step. Now, there's some things you can't control, some genetics. Women are higher risk than men. Hormones, birth control pills, pregnancy, hormone replacement therapy, all of those can increase the risk. Smoking is a big one, which mm. is a modifiable risk factor. But a number of different things you can do to reduce your risk of stroke. And, and what this anchor had was actually a warning sign of a stroke. So it's called a TIA. It's a pre-stroke mm -hmm. or mini-stroke. And that would be a big risk factor as well. So, and I read a little bit about her over the weekend. She said that the words just weren't there and then the vision part and then the numbness. So is this kind of a normal symptoms? These are the classic symptoms, but you can also have unclassic symptoms. So classic, I like to think of the acronym FAST, F for facial droop, A for arm weakness, S for speech difficulties, either understanding or making speech, and then the T is the time. You have to call 911. But those are kind of the typical things you see. You can also have vaguer symptoms like numbness or tingling somewhere in your face or your body. Women in particular, Kim, can actually have more atypical symptoms like nausea, mm. confusion, memory problems, things that might be a little bit more subtle and it may not clue somebody off you're having a stroke. So men and women do have different symptoms or strokes? They have different strokes uh, across gender lines? So it, the, the big symptoms, like the ones we talked about, generally the same, but the subtler symptoms can be very different in men and women, and the risk factors are different in men and women as well, with women being much higher risk, even with the same risk factor. So smoking, for example, in a woman, you know, almost doubles your risk of a stroke as compared to a man. So often with things like heart attack stroke, we say, oh, this is in older people. Not necessarily true. No. In fact, the American Heart Association tells us that one in seven strokes occur in people under the age of 50. So that's why it's really important for yourself, for your family members, for everyone to know the signs, know the symptoms, and then know how to seek medical attention right away. Well, hopefully uh, the people who did see Julie Chin or hear her story will also be paying attention. And uh, what we just talked about might help someone somewhere down the line. That'd be great. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Coley, as always.